So we've been in touch with Electfreaks, a company that makes robotic kits and computers that you can program yourself, and somehow we convinced them to send us some of their products over for free. One of the products was a little arcade machine, so I thought it would be awesome to make a scratch game and put it on here so that I can play a game on something other than a hamster powered PC in 2003. Unfortunately, this isn't really scratch. I mean, um, it's similar enough, but I'm too lazy to learn that. There's even community games like this racquetball game that I suck at. Some dude even made a whole platformer game using JavaScript. <laughs> Luckily, there's a wiki on the Electfreaks page and it shows you how to code and even has some sample games. You can play the games on an emulator, but I suck on it, so I decided to see how well the arcade works and tried to download one of them. It's pretty easy to put a game on the device, all you have to do is plug it in and press download. Retro Arcade, and lo and behold! Well, let's get started making the game, I guess. Let's call it Subway Joyride. The first thing to get started with is the background. So I'm gonna go to assets, I'm pretty sure. And there's a whole gallery of sprites that I can use. But I think I'm just gonna make a new asset and try to make my own sprite. Looks like the only thing you can really do here is some pixel art. You can't import images or anything. So I'm gonna try to set this to the resolution of the arcade screen and start drawing subway tracks. 320 by 240. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of pixels to draw on. Let's maybe make it 32 by 24. That's a lot better. All right, so I'll choose a dark purple color for the background, the tracks. Let's make three of them so you can dodge in between them. I really wish I could use Scratch for this because as much as I'd hate to admit it, Scratch has a better paint editor than this. So let's name this uh, background and press done I guess. For the main character, if I were making this in Scratch, I'd probably just uh, honestly just take an image off of Google and put it in this project. But uh, this is Microsoft so I'm pretty sure they're not going to let you copyright infringement or whatever. There we go. I'm pretty sure the dude from Jetpack Joyride has a hat, so uh, let's give him a little brim there. And let me draw his body here. All right, that's a little better. All right, it's not looking too bad, not too, not too shabby. And we gotta make the trains later, but for now let's try, uh, I wanna try coding. The blocks here are super, are way different than Scratch. To set the background, you use this set my sprite block. Let's see if that works. Add a new kind. Let's name this BG. All right, it works. It's a it's a little small though. Um, how do you make it bigger? Change my sprite scale. Oh, okay. So you you, <laughs> you need to use these tiny values here because it's a it's not that big of a screen. I also gotta put the player in and um. Set my sprite, set uh, main character to sprite. Oh, he's invisible. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, so apparently I wasn't used to, supposed to use animations. So if I can, I'm just gonna copy this and put it in a different sprite. Can you change costumes? I don't even know what it's called. All right, nice, nice. Not too bad. Now I just have to figure out how to make him move. So um, down button press. It will change y by minus one on key up pressed it will change y by one if y is equal to three then set y to three just so that it can't go past three and if y is equal to one then set y to one y is two then set x position oh you can all right all right that's not too bad so 16 the edge of the screen if y is equal to one it actually worked so far, I did not expect that to work. So we have Billy moving, now all we have to do is uh, animate him a little bit. Oh, so you can set image uh, apparently. Make a forever loop that always does that. 
pause. I guess that's the version of wait in uh, make code. Set main character sprite to two. Okay, nice, he runs. It's pretty easy to understand. One of the big downsides to this though is that all the code is in the same sprite. So right now I'm on, I'm just in one sprite. There's no like, there's no different tabs to switch to. You can't have separate codes. So it's gonna get pretty confusing if you have a big game. Oh, you can make an actual song. I'm seriously a producer for a big hit right now. Oh my, hold on. Let's name this beat. Fish feet Eminem. On start play song looping in background. All right, now all we're missing is the train. So create a new asset. Oh, I'm gonna make the outline red this time. Use a square, let's make the train look nice. Let's give it some windows, cause let's name this subway. And how do you make clones? In Scratch, there's a function that lets you make clones. Maybe it's a projectile. Um, let's try set my sprite too, cause that seems to work for a lot of things. It doesn't look too bad. Wait, it is so weird how the coordinates work here. Oh, you can add effects. Nice. Wait, what does that do? Which one does that do? I mean, you really can't see it, but I, but just appreciate the effort I put into this game. Wait, now that there's effects, I want to shake the camera. I just saw that somewhere. Camera follow sprite, camera shake. You can add camera shake in this. Okay, and when the train hits the edge, we just make a new variable called score and change score by one. Info. Oh, change score by one. There's already a variable there. Nice. They thought of everything. You can also use a high score as the best score. Okay. The game is coming together. I'm cooking. There's got to be a touching player block here, right? On sprite of kind, player overlaps other sprite of kind. So it has a has collision detection. Change life by negative one. Maybe that'll work. The game's almost finished. Okay, we need the player to start a trail effect. Oh, that's ugly. All right, hold on. Change the effect. Oh, that actually looks so cool. That looks clean, bro. Nice. Well, let's just press format code to clean up the blocks. Save it. And I think all that's left to do is port it into the arcade and see what happens. Well, if there's another idea you guys have for a challenge, go ahead and put them in the comments. This was a really fun video to make. Thank you, Electric, for sending over some of their products. If you want to check out the arcade, there's a link down in the description. Peace.